data and methodology. Mato do Grosso do Sul State is located in the center-west region of Brazil, it occupies an area of 357.125 square kilometers with a population of more than 2,5 million inhabitants and has a tropical climate. Three vegetation types are present in the region, pasture, east, swampland, west, and tropical forest, south. In order to analyze the synoptic systems responsible for the severe event on December 5, 2015 data of meteorological variables obtained from the Global Forecast System, GFS, http colon slash 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 data slash xnl, analysis are used. To identify the synoptic conditions on December 5, 2015 those satellite images are used http colon slash slash satellite dot cptech dot dot br slash home slash novo site slash index dot jsb. The state of art numerical model used is the weather research and forecasting non hydrostatic mesoscale model, WRF NMM. The damage effect of the rainstorm was illustrated using information of news agencies. The non hydrostatic mesoscale model, NMM, core of the weather research and forecasting, WRF, System is a next-generation mesoscale forecast model. The NMM model was developed by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA slash National Centers for Environment Prediction, NCEP, based on the ADA model and replaces it in 2005. The model has been designed to be an efficient and flexible mesoscale modeling system for use across a broad range of weather forecasts and idealized research applications with an emphasis on horizontal grid sizes in the range of 1 to 10 kilometers. Although the NMM is a fully compressible, non-hydrostatic mesoscale model it has a hydrostatic option. The model uses a terrain-following hybrid sigma pressure vertical coordinate. A version of WRF NMM tailored for hurricane forecasting, HWRF, Hurricane Weather Research and Forecasting, became operational in 2007. The WRF slash NMM model with 9 km of horizontal resolution was introduced in 2015 in the team of models of the Center of Weather Prediction and Climate Studies, CPTEC, from NPE. The model domain cover the entire South America, with 615 by 1392 we slash grid points. In this simulation presented in this study, the model was integrated for a period of 84 hours, starting from 1200 at December 4, 2015, with spin-up of 12 hours. A single domain with 9 km horizontal spatial resolution was configured. Initial and boundary conditions are derived from 6 hours global analysis and forecast at 0.25 degrees times 0.25 degrees grids generated by the National Center for Environmental Prediction, NCEPS Global Forecast System, GFS. Analysis fields, including temperature, moisture, Geopotential height and wind are interpolated to the mesoscale grid. These derived fields served as initial conditions for the present experiments. The domain is configured with vertical structure of 38 unequally spaced sigma, non-dimensional pressure, levels. The physical parameterizations used in this study are Geophysical Fluid Dynamics Laboratory, GFDL, for long and short wave radiation, NOAA Land Surface Scheme for Land Surface, Meller Yamada Yanich, MIJ, Scheme for Planetary Boundary Layer, Barrier Scheme for Microphysics, and Yonich Similarity Scheme for Surface Layer. Table 1 shows the model configuration of the present study. The WRF model configuration used in the simulations. The use of the WRF model for studies of severe storms can be seen for example in Recently, a comparison of the results of the three operational models, WRF, ADA, RAMS, of CPTEC was made. Tests of accuracy applied to the model results indicated that the WRF model has a better skill and computational performance, not published yet. So, in the present study a subjective, visual, method is used to analyze the WRF simulation of the storm. The methodology used in the present study makes part of the cooperative project Impay Energiza Company. Particularly, the use of the high-resolution WRF model to predict severe storms is unique. So, the results obtained here may contribute to a better understanding of severe storms conditions and their prediction.